Hi, this is Ken Sinatra, and you're watching Efficacy, thanks to Fiona Bloom. At what point did you know you wanted to be an artist? Since birth. Um, more recently, uh, after the birth of my first daughter, I realized that I just, I needed art in my life, and uh, to be a better mommy, a better person. So I wrote some songs, and that led to an EP and an album, and etc., etc. What's the biggest highlight in your life so far? My album, Bark Then Bite, because, like, really, I don't really know how I did it. I mean, I know I have a great partner, and he's awesome, and we're a good team. Somehow I found time to write an entire album, and, like, I have two babies, so that's amazing. Uh, second thing is my family, and the birth of my children, and... Uh, just how much they teach me all the time about being myself and chilling the hell out. If you could perform with anyone posthumously, who would it be and why? Sam Cooke, because he's amazing. I love him. Number one inspiration. One of them. Maybe him and Bill Withers would die. Who are some of your favorite new artists on the scene today? Anthony Hamilton, Jill Scott. Uh, I really like Amy Winehouse's Fade to Black album a lot. Um, I'm so open. I don't know. I was Beyonce too. It doesn't matter. If it has a beat, I'm in. <laughs> if you could do one big ad campaign outside of the U.S., describe what it would be, where, why. It would be an organic health and beauty line, because I'm a crunchy vanilla kind of girl. And it would be in Paris, because I love Paris when I was there last. If you could sim sing in any other language, what would it be? French. How spicy do you like your food? Very. Mm, almost painful, so I, I need to work on that. Balancing my spiciness and my overindulgence. Sweet tooth? Divulge your sweets. I do have a sweet tooth, and I used to eat ice cream every day until I became lactose intolerant. And truly, I haven't really had anything cold as a dessert since I found that out, because I'm kind of in the morning. So I eat toast with jelly, which is yummy. If you had a million in cash today, what would you do with it? I would put it toward buying this amazing school it's a vacant, it's around the corner from my house, and I've turned it into a community arts center, a uh, haven for artists, uh, and you know, a blessing to the community. Probably need some more money, though. If you could sleep with anyone, who would it be? Idris Elba. Mm -hmm. If you had to pack three things for a desert island trip in isolation, what would they be? Uh, assuming I would be able to eventually learn. <laughs> Or teach myself how to spear a fish or something like that. I would just bring water and a pen and lots of paper. Or a couple of pens. A pack of pens? Could that be one thing? Maybe. Any words of wisdom you can share with your fans and any advice to artists aspiring to be in your shoes? I say uh, listen to your own internal compass and follow your instincts and be true to yourself as long as you are not uh, hurting anyone, you're only contributing to the good of the planet by following your dreams. Like, what a better gift to the world, to you, to your family, etc. Favorite social app or mobile app and why? I do not have a favorite mobile app, but I do like Facebook and Twitter sometimes. Your favorite word? Tiddly. It has been for a while. This is Candace Anitra, and you're watching Efficacy, thanks to Fiona Bloom.